so this is the third question related to mapping of pos expression in sop k map okay so this is the uh, boolean expression given in terms of the max term values so as you can see it's a very interesting one because all the max term values are included okay for a three variable uh, how many number of terms that there can be all of them have there from 0 to 7 so we'll mark all the cells of this k map okay because everything is there so here we can group them as one octet okay this whole thing so here if you see in order to find the common variable what we have to do is that see here in the horizontal and vertical sides if we multiply one there would be nothing wrong we are not altering anything it is the same as per boolean uh, algebra rules if we and anything with one we'll get the same result so here if we do it in this way we will see that we have one common in everything in the horizontal and vertical side so the result will be y is equal to 1 the simplified boolean expression but it is in sop form for pos like we did in all the previous cases we just have to take the complement which is 0 this is the simplified boolean expression for this pos expression given in terms of the max terms this is the result okay so this is the fourth question related to mapping of pos expressions in sop k map so here we have the pos expression given in terms of the max terms that is 0 to 4 5 so map it so 0 2 4 5 0 because it is max terms pos so we have been uh, we have marked all the respective cells as per the max term values so now we'll group them so here we can form a pair this and then here we can form a pair okay so now we have to find the common variables for each of these pairs so for this pair you see here here a bar is common in the horizontal side in both these uh, marked cells so a bar is common and in the vertical side we have c bar common we have c bar common so this is one next for this pair okay for this pair here a is common in the horizontal side and in the vertical side we have b bar common okay here also b bar here also b bar and a in the horizontal side so it is a b bar so if you notice this expression it is sop form sum of product terms these are product terms and they are, they are or together they are summed together so we know in order to get the pos what we have to do we have to simply take the complement complement means here a bar c bar a b bar complement then we'll apply de morgan's rule so it will become a bar c bar bar a b bar bar then again de morgan's theorem will apply 
so here it will be a bar bar or c bar bar and here it will be a bar or b bar bar so this will be a or c and a complement or d okay this this is the required POS simplified expression for this so always remember when you are using the opposite k map okay for a particular boolean expression that is if POS uh, max terms expression is given and you are using SOP k map the result which you get always take the complement of it because the result which you will be getting it will be in the same format same as that of the k map okay but you have to get the result in terms of the format of the question which it is which has been asked here it has been asked in max term format or pos format so we have to get the result in pos format not in this form it will be wrong so always take the complement okay so this is the fourth question So this is the fifth question related to POS expression mapping and simplification using SOP KMAP. So we have the POS expression given in terms of the max term values. So first we'll uh, map it into this SOP KMAP. So 1, 3, 5, 7. So here 1, 3, 5 and 7. Okay. Now as you can see it's a straightforward quad okay so here in the horizontal and vertical side we have to find the common terms in the horizontal side there is nothing common a bar a so there is nothing common in the vertical side we have uh, c c as common okay we have c as common so it is equals to c okay so that is the common uh, variable but here it is in sop form but we need the result in pos format okay so just take the complement of it so it will be c bar which is the required pos expression okay so this is the uh, required answer